Ritchie's Fabulae Facules, paragraph 13, part 2. In the first part of this paragraph, we read all of the Latin and then analyzed down through compressit. For this time, we will review this portion and then read and analyze from Talimodo through Excitawarat. So then, a quick review. Iphicles, the brother of Hercules, shouted loudly. But Hercules, for his part, a very brave boy, was not at all frightened. With his little hands, the serpents he immediately grabs, and their necks he squeezed with great force. Talimodo serpentes a puerro interfectae sunt, alcmena autem mater puerorum clamorrem audiverat et marritum suum e somno excitaverat. In such a way, Talimodo, the serpents by the child were killed. But Alcmina, the mother of the boys, had heard the shout, and her husband, from sleep, she had awakened. This portion starts with Talimodo, which is masculine, singular, and ablative. It's another ablativus instrumenti, an ablative of instrument or means. Tali is from the third declension adjective, talis, tale, like so. And modo is from the second declension noun, modus, Modi, which is masculine. Serpentes is our subject, feminine, plural, and nominative. And we have apuerdro, which is the ablative of agency. Puero in the masculine, singular, and ablative. With a preposition ab, it shows agency, especially with the passive verb interfecti sunt. So this is from the verb interficio, interficere interfeci, and then the fourth principal part, interfectus. With the feminine plural ending here, we know that it is the predicate of serpentes. And so this unit all together, interfecti sunt, is a perfect passive. Alcmena, she's the subject of this next part, and she's feminine, singular, and nominative. It's a Greek word that has been brought into Latin, but Alcmena Another positive, mater, a noun restating a noun, the mother of the boys, this of course masculine plural and genitive, referring to both Iphicles and Hercules, but the mother of the boys, clamordrem, so there is our object, and it is masculine singular and accusative. This is a third declension noun, clamor, clamoris, and masculine, she had heard, audiverat. From the fourth conjugation verb, audio, audire, and this, of course, is going to be third singular, pluperfect, indicative, and active. In terms of this portion, then, we have a very predictable word order. Subject, object, and verb, which is one of the favorite patterns of Latin. It's repeated here as well. So, Alcmena had heard the shout of the boys, or had heard the shout, and marritum suum, there's our next object, masculine, singular, and accusative. So this is the second declension noun, marritas, mariti, masculine, meaning husband. And of course, her husband was a man named Amphitryon. And that is the father of Iphicles, but the father of Hercules, of course, is Zeus. And her own, her own husband, Asomno, from sleep, somno, masculine, singular, and ablative, we could call it an ablative of separation from sleep or of origin. She had aroused. She had awake. Uh, she had woken him up. Excitawarat from the first conjugation verb excito, excitardre, like so, and it's a third singular, pluperfect, indicative and active. It's parallel to audiwarat, audiwarat, excitawarat, two third singular, pluperfect, indicative, active verbs. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Latin per diem. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.